Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. My name's Cassie if you're new. If you're not, welcome back to another video. I just finished getting my nails done, you guys just saw. But I went back to my OG color. It's like a light pink. I always get this color like every single time I go to the nail salon. And the last time I went, I got a really cute and like pretty periwinkle blue color, which I liked, but this is like just screaming my name. I love this pink. It's my favorite as you can tell. Um, but anyways it's Friday and I'm gonna film a little weekend vlog, weekend of my life. I film these a lot but I haven't filmed one in probably like three weekends because I wanted to take the weekends off from vlogging so I figured I would start one today because we have a lot of fun things planned this weekend but I actually have to run to um, get some cash because they don't take credit card here which is kind of annoying but they didn't have an ATM working. So I'm gonna run and grab some cash to come back to pay and then I have to run a few errands. And then we'll see what we get up to the rest of the evening. I think Matthew and I are gonna go to the drive-in tonight, potentially after his baseball game. So it should be a fun vlog. Welcome back, subscribe if you guys are not already. And let's get into it. <laughs> and Dash is just laying on this pillow. Hi Dash. Anybody else's dogs lay on top of pillows? <laughs> Matthew's relaxing. <laughs> Matthew wants to get in the lottery tonight. <laughs> I never think the lottery's worth it. It's but never it's worth it. To you. It's the thrill of the fun. <laughs> Grocery haul. I got more of these. You were asking about them today. Okay. Got more hippies. These are the best. They're chickpea puffs. And I got the vegan white cheddar and bohemian barbecue. So just a little grocery haul for the weekend. We're going to, on Sunday, we're going on a boat with a bunch of my friends. So I got snacks for that. And then I also got these cauliflower tortilla chips. They're the nacho flavor. And then I got, I'm making like a chickpea pasta salad. It's cold, it's like a Greek one. I've made it before. So I got some broccoli to put in there. I got two hummus. Tubs. I got the lemon dill and the roasted red pepper. This is the Ithaca hummus. This is my favorite. I work for this brand. If you guys are new to my channel, that's like my nine to five job. I do social media, marketing, all that fun stuff, but the hummus is the best. Eggs, because we love some eggs in this house. And also for the pasta salad, these mini tricolor peppers are so good, as well as a green pepper. I've made that before. I'll probably include me making that in this vlog so you guys will see. And then two different chicken sausages. I always put these in my egg scrambles in the morning. This is the Alfresco brand, apple maple. It's my favorite. And then little mini cucumbers also for the pasta salad. And then I got one Olipop. This is for tonight for the drive-in. Olipop is literally my favorite. This is the classic root beer. So, so good. It's like a sin-free prebiotic soda, way less sugar. It tastes just like it, so good. Oh, and then also I got these beautiful flowers. So I'm gonna make a little arrangement right now. I got these baby's breath, just these pretty white ones, and then some eucalyptus. So I'm gonna make a little arrangement, and I need to put these in water right now because I always get worried with flowers. Like, I feel like you have to put them in water like right away, or else they start to brown and get like weird. These are how the flowers turned out. I originally was gonna put them all together, but it looked kind of funny to put them all together. So I just put this one in this small little like glass vase. And I have it right here. Ignore all the stuff on the counter all the time. Oh, is that my Amazon package? No. no. Okay, so that one. And then the other one I put in the bathroom. 
right there. So I just did the eucalyptus and the baby's breath in this little arrangement. And then this base is from Target. So I thought that looked pretty there. I just cleaned up a little bit around the house and we're going to the drive-in tonight. So I wanted to show you guys what we are bringing for snacks. Popcorn. We've got two types of lesser evil. The lemonade. This is their summer flavor. It's really good. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but we love it. And then also just the plain pink salt. So I got those. I packed another bag because Matthew and I like eat a ton of popcorn. Usually if I just bring one bag and we will split it and like eat the whole thing. So <laughs> we brought two just in case. And then I got the Simple Mills Almond Flour Crunchy Chocolate Chip Cookies. These are the best cookies on the whole entire earth. They taste just like the Crunchy Chips Ahoy. You guys are so good. The ingredients in Simple Mills are so good. Everything you know, everything you can pronounce and all natural clean ingredients so I got the crunchy and then also I brought the soft baked because we only have like three in there and these are like kind of tiny the soft baked are good too but to be honest the crunchy are a lot better I think and then smart sweets these are our favorite candy so it's like way less sugar and it's like a plant-based candy so we've got the sweet fish these are kind of like a um, Swedish fish and then the red twist these are kind of like licorice but they don't have like the licorice taste they're more like berry I have a discount code as well for smart sweets they're my favorite I'll put it up on the screen here for you guys but we love them so so much so we're gonna bring these in this bag and then we'll bring like blankets and stuff I'm heading to Matthew's game right now he's got a baseball game and I'm going actually with my mom. So I'm gonna bring this little bag, just with like my water in. We're gonna head to Core Life before to pick up dinner to eat while we're watching the game. And then Matthew and I are gonna go to the drive-in later. So I think what I'm gonna do is bring my Olipop so I can drink this while we're at the game. And then I'll probably bring my mom um, a Lemon Perfect. I know she really likes these too. This is just the Dragon Fruit Mango. This flavor is so good. Lemon Perfects are my favorite. They're like a hydrating lemon water and they're so good. So we're gonna bring these two to enjoy on the field. And I'm kinda hungry, so I'm gonna have like a carrot or two. But I'm excited to go to his game. The drive-in is until like nine o'clock tonight. So it is a little bit late. We're only going to see one movie, but we haven't been to the drive-in yet this summer. So I am so excited. The drive-in is like my love language. It's like Matthew and I's favorite thing to do in the summer. It's like such a romantic date. Nostalgic. Sorry, I'm talking when I'm eating, but we love it. justify this coffee table purchase are you ready after your camera purchase <laughs> yeah hold on hold on let's hear this so, one so i have a cash rewards credit card that i have never cashed in never cashed in well i have but like this whole not in a year wait matthew you're not listening yeah okay. but this is my strategy for the i know camera. i know but now i could use all that money to buy a new coffee table and it'd be a free coffee table and then and then I could sell the old coffee table and use that money for the new camera. I mean, okay. I know, I just really, really want it. How it's much do you so think you're getting for the coffee table? Isn't it marble? It's a nice coffee table. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I paid maybe like three or four hundred bucks for it. Part of me kind of wants to keep it though for our house one day because it's a nice coffee table and we'd use it like in like a basement or something. But then the other part of me is like, where the heck would we store it for the time being? Definitely but oh my god, it's such a nice table. I want it so bad. I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Let's show the vlog. But this is the coffee table it's from West Elm. I'm crushing my sushi. <laughs> I, know, I, just, I just saw your sushi down there, babe. Okay, this is the coffee table, you guys. It's so beautiful. I need it. Look at it. It's an investment piece. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think it's an investment piece? 
Let's say it in unison, ready? It's an investment no. piece. <laughs> the vlog will see. The vlog doesn't need to see. <laughs> Packing up the bag, got our snacks, blankets, pillows, I got a poppy in there. We're good to go. We're gonna take my car and put this down and then lay in the back. We have Ladies and gentlemen, another attendee joining the drive Cassie. <laughs> we did not anticipate bringing Dash, but he, he basically was... just walked out of the house and thought he was coming. Hey, Cass with the sad and eyes. And he gave me the sad eyes. He, he, he had to come. Yeah, he had to come to the drive in. <laughs> he got his way in somehow. <laughs> are you excited, Dash? <gasps> Dash, are you okay for the drive in? Are you excited? <gasps> These are the Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. I always get questions about which ones I'm using, and I think they're like the hyaluronic acid ones. And I like them a lot. I got them at Target maybe like a month ago, and they've lasted me a while because I only use them really on the weekends. This one just broke. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like flipping you off. <laughs> um, but anyways, I really like them. And the movie last night was like so weird. We saw this movie called Nope at the drive-in. It was really fun to go to the drive-in. I love it. It's like so nostalgic. It's like our favorite thing to do in the summer. But the movie itself was kind of odd. It was about aliens and UFOs. And um, it was the same guy who made Out in This Is Us or Us. Get Out. I don't know what I'm saying. It's too early. But it was a little strange. So if you're debating on seeing it, maybe rethink that. It wasn't bad, it was just strange. Me, babe. <laughs> Did you just hear Matthew? <laughs> he goes, oh my god. <laughs> squeaking. The skin gym thing squeaks all the time. <laughs> I got it from Amazon. I love it. I'm gonna link it down below. It's like the ice roller. But it squeaks. It's so annoying. Matthew's yelling at me from the bedroom to stop <laughs> oh my God. okay i'm done <laughs> anyways it's 8 3 right now we got home like kind of late we got home around like 11 30 because the movie was at nine and i'm going to a spin class pretty soon All I hear is you in the bedroom saying, stop squeaking. All I hear is squeaky face. <laughs> Dash, what's in your mouth? My sock. Dead sock? <laughs> what's in your mouth? <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm making some pre-workout toast. So I just used the cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread. Actually, let me show you what the packaging looks like. This is the packaging. It's kind of hard to tell but it's the food for life brand this is the toast I always eat but it's really really good so I use that toast 
And then for the toppings, I always put some peanut butter on it. I love some peanut butter toast. And then some honey. Chia seeds for a little bit of fiber. And then also some cinnamon. And this is like my favorite pre-workout snack because it's carbs, obviously. So it gives me energy and fuel for my spin class. such an amazing class. I ended up going with three of my friends, um, Adria, Allie, and Merritt. So fun. Loved it. And I just got home and look at the gem Matthew is. He made the bed. He doesn't usually make the bed. Like usually that's my chore. And I came home and it was already done. I'm like, yes, love that for, for us. But today you guys, I'm doing something very exciting. So Tonight we have Matthew's gig. He's playing at a really fun Mexican restaurant and like a bunch of our friends are coming. So I'm really excited about that, but it's not until around seven. So today my plans are to organize my new Fable dinnerware. I got a bunch of stuff from Fable. I have a discount code. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna organize it all in my cabinet. So I got plates, silverware, cups, bowls, and I think that's it, but like a bunch of different stuff. But it is right here so all of my stuff is here in this giant box i need to organize it i've literally waited until i filmed to do it i also ordered organizers on amazon right there to organize and then i also got these little things to organize them as well like put the bowls on top or below and i'm gonna do like a full makeover in here because this is just not like what is happening up there so unorganized i want it to look aesthetic and organized so we're going to do that today and i'm excited i know i'm an old lady and then also i might order that coffee table you guys i really 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 want it so i might order it <laughs> just laid out everything that I got from Fable. And here are the organizers that I'm gonna use. So I'm planning on putting the plates in all of these just to organize them a little better. And then these for the bowls and stuff that you can kind of stack. So as I mentioned, I got the dinner essentials kit from Fable. It's like a dinnerware, um, beautiful, aesthetic dinnerware set. And so I got these plates. It's kind of like a white speckle. I'm not sure if you can really tell on camera, but it's a beautiful white speckle. The big plates and then the smaller plates, the breakfast bowls, the larger like pasta salad bowls. And then I got some cups. So I got four different glasses of the small, shorter ones. Really beautiful, so good with like iced coffee. And then I got four of the tall ones. And then in here is the matte black silverware. I will take it out and show you guys a little bit what it looks like, but my plan is just to organize everything in there right now.
little before and after here is how everything looks so originally I had bought two of those plate rack things and they didn't fit so these plates are the larger ones and those are like the smaller salad like dinner plates I don't know what they're called but side plate dinner plate I think is what they're called and these are from our place I love these still too but these were too large they didn't fit in this area right here unfortunately so I wasn't able to use that second rack I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it I probably could find a space for it somewhere around the house and organize but this is what I did. I definitely had to get creative with the space just because these kind of look big, but they're not. Like, it feels like these should be taller. But anyways, here is how I organized everything. This is the new Fable stuff, as you guys saw. And it's kind of annoying, actually. Hmm, I don't know. I still have to kind of play around with it, and I also have to live in it for a few days and see what works and what doesn't because I want to make sure things are... Nice to look at, but also practical, if you know what I mean. So, otherwise, I love it. I do really like the organizers. I think they make them look like a lot more aesthetic and just like in their own place. So, I'll link those down below for you guys. All right, scratch that. I just moved it around. So, I ended up putting the plates up here just because this is a lot taller than down here. So, that way, when I have to go grab one of these, it's not as difficult to grab. And then I put the bowls together, the other bowls here. And yeah, I think that's just like a little bit more practical, to be honest, and easier to grab. So I also just did the cups, as you guys saw. I started to do the small ones over here and then the larger ones so these are the two new ones from fable and then i also just organized like all of our wine glasses and some coffee mugs up there as well i'm making the pasta salad for the boat tomorrow and i'm just boiling some water i'm going to use this bonza chickpea pasta i actually think this is ready yeah so let's pour this in and then i'm going to chop all the veggies and assemble it. It's like a Greek pasta salad. I mentioned it yesterday when I went to the grocery store and I was getting all this stuff for it. So I'm just gonna let this cook for now. For lunch right now, I just made some chicken pot stickers in the air fryer and they're like chicken and vegetable and then I just have some veggies and then I'm gonna top it with this Fly by Jing Zong sauce. It's kind of like an Asian sauce. It's super good. It's like an oil based, but it also has a little bit of spice to it. It's so, so good. Here's everything I put in the pasta salad, so I just let it cool down. Now it's good. And I'm gonna do broccoli, the mini peppers, the green pepper, cucumbers, feta, a lemon juice, and then this Greek dressing. Usually I also put in tomato and onion, but Matthew doesn't really like that, so I might just leave that out and put that on the side. Target. This angle is kind of funny. I'm in Matthew's car right now, so that's why I'm not really sure where to put my camera, but just ran to Target. I'm gonna run in here and get a few things. We need like beach towels for tomorrow when we go on the boat, and then also I wanted to get a bin to put some of the stuff that I cleaned out today that we're not gonna be using like every day in the garage, because I also ordered these like garage organizer shelving units, so that'll be like our next project for for the house but i'm drinking a poppy right now this is my favorite flavor it's the raspberry rose or rose it is my favorite it's so good poppy and olipop are like my obsession like if you need a good drink i got you and i don't mean like alcoholic like these are non-alcoholic this is a uh, prebiotic soda it's for a healthy gut and it's so so good love it olipop and poppy check them out 
but I'm gonna head in here real quick. I'll give you guys a tiny haul when I get home of what um, we get. And yeah, it's just been a great day. I've been like super productive. Got a lot done, which I'm happy about. Okay, gonna show you guys a little haul of what I got. So I just got two beach towels for tomorrow. I got some new hangers. These are the ones that we always use. They're just like the non-slip and they're velvet. We needed a bunch more of those. And then I got this new bag. I've been really wanting like a shoulder bag like this and I really loved the white for summer. So I'm gonna wear this tonight actually to Matthew's gig. I just thought it was really cute and kind of like a dupe for the Bottega one, or the, um, not Bottega, the YSL one, which is the one I really want. <laughs> and then, oh my god, this package is exciting. Matthew, we should do a taste test. Do you wanna? No, right now. Okay, well, we'll do a taste test at one point. Simple Mills came out with sandwich cookies, basically like healthy Oreos, and I am so excited. We've got the creamy peanut butter and the cacao cashew cream. My friend Stephanie and Nate and Merritt and her husband too. We've all been like trying these and sending taste test videos to each other and I finally just got my hands on them. I'm pumped about those. And they also sent the almond flour banana muffin, banana muffin bread mix. Matthew, have you ever had this? I don't think so. They have like a banana bread muffin mix. I'm excited about that. Definitely wanna make those. And then some veggie pita Himalayan pink salt crackers. Love those. And these are my all time fave. I already showed these yesterday because we had them at the drive-in, but the crunchy almond flour taco chip cookies, <gasps> so good. Random craving, but I was really in the mood for a bowl of cereal. This is the Three Wishes brand. It's so good, it's like a healthier, more protein, less sugar cereal. And I have it in my new bowls with some of the milk, vanilla almond milk. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? I just forgot I'd show you my outfit for the evening. I started the night off doing my hair with this American Crew product. If you guys haven't used it before, great product. I know it's on sale somewhere. If it where it is, I couldn't even tell you. I don't even know how to focus this damn thing. <laughs> there we go. Great hair stuff. Looks real good. You know, you get the nice little waves in there, but not too much shine. Right now I got on a Hanes t-shirt. Pretty sure I bought it at Walmart. Can't tell you how much it costs. If I had to guess, probably like three bucks. Comes in a pack of three. Definitely get yours on sale. Use code MATT at the counter when you go to Walmart. They're probably not gonna know who I am, but who gives a shit, right? Uh, and lastly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna top myself off with this Thalium. This Thalium cologne. I'm pretty sure I bought it on eBay. Super nice price. I'm pretty sure it's like $15.99. But real sporty, real airy. You know, it's got hints and notes of lavender too. So real good stuff. But you know, we're gonna have a night out tonight and it's gonna be great. But you know, I just wanna check in with you guys and, and we'll see you later, all right? Yeah, take care. Comment below if you think Matthew should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah! <sighs> He's a natural. <laughs> Here's a finished product, everybody. <laughs> That's what Matthew's outfit of the night looks like. Woo! Hair, makeup. Wish me luck. <laughs> He's got a gig tonight we're going to. Good luck. I'm just doing my makeup because we're going to the gig in like an hour. I am. I'm no makeup guru, but I'm mixing these two of the bare minerals because this is too light and this is too dark. So I just mix it and then I put it on with this makeup brush.
details. So I'm wearing those new Abercrombie jeans that I had on in my last video. They're the Curve Love um, High Rise, I think they're the mom jeans. I'll link it down below. And this top is from a boutique here called Half and Half. I don't think I have a link. If I can find one, I will link it. But it's a boutique in Buffalo. And then this is the bag that I got today at Target. It's just like a new, it's called Target a new day, I think it's like the silhouette shoulder bag, and it's in ivory. And then I just have these heels on, they are from Target as well. So this is the outfit of the night. I love these jeans, by the way, and they're on sale. They're only like 50 bucks, I think. So definitely check out that link below. Here's probably a better angle of the outfit. Matthew would be laughing at me right now because this is literally what he just did. But here's the better look with the shoes, the jeans, shirt, and the bag. You guys need this bag, perfect summer bag. morning guys it is Sunday we are getting ready to go on the boat with our friends right now and I just made the bed uh, made a little coffee our friends are coming to pick us up so we're gonna be going to Cayuga Lake today to go on a boat for literally all day and I'm really excited so I'm gonna vlog a little bit I probably won't vlog a ton but I just wanted to pop in and say hello last night was so fun at Matthew's gig we had the best time and yeah so excited for today <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have to hold a lead. Look at this hattie. 